Hey, Team Random. Hey, YouTube. I'm going to start this one right off real quick. And here comes J3. He always has to try to get in the video, my nephew. Anyway, this is what I'm making. Ankara, Ankara chokers. Chokers made out of Ankara fabric. Seen the people have started to really like the video I put up months ago with the live video I did making the Ankara jewelry, like I do the earrings. These I've shown you these earrings plenty of times. So now I'm going to show you how to do the chokers. And I have all my essentials. And yeah, you need a lot of stuff to make jewelry. If you've never made jewelry, then you yeah go to Hobby Lobby. Go, and you can get print off. It's the forty percent off coupon for the bigger items you may need, like these little. I got the little travel size jewelry kit. And this little kit comes with three these three different type of pliers. One's this one's like a cutter. See how it has the edge on it. This one's the round, like helps you with the to turn the little round things. Those little these things. <laughs> I don't even know what the stuff's called because I'm new to this jewelry making. I just learned that I could do it. So yeah, to close open and close those, you use these. And then these are just to seal the clamps down which these are the little clamps they come in different sizes different colors hello one person watching and I got all I got the silver the gold and the darker silver and then a like a I don't know what that what you got, bronze bat brass I don't know it's not really brass it's just a bronze type of color but these are what you I'm gonna put on the ends as the one I just showed that's what this they go here to keep it together these little things and you just use these to press that down so it stays on now with this one I used glue and I, and I use this glue ultimate and I have it and where it's really cute and the little chains you also buy it comes like this in a row the chains and you cut it you use these pliers or whatever to open them up and take them apart to the size that you need I have a roll of silver and a roll of gold. Today I'm going to use the gold. Show y'all how to make these chokers. Okay. So let's get it started. Let's get it started. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah. I'm just having issues. Been singing that song today for some reason. Old MC Hammer in the place to be. Oh, it's been a rough week, y'all. I don't know what kind of week you had. I hope you had a decent week. I'm glad that it's the weekend. Even had to get up early today to do some stuff at church. Take some pictures or whatever. I hate taking pictures. Ooh, so this is, I got the black thread. Oh, I'm going to show you the, the length that I cut these and measured them for my necks. For my neck and maybe most people's necks. I don't know. My neck might be wider than other people. I don't know. But that's why that's where you use the chains to try to measure it for other size necks. But this is like a, I think I have an average size neck, I would say. So you're gonna need. I made mine. I don't have this on the wrong side. So this is ten inches. So 10 inches, if I can show you all, it's 10 inches long. There's the 10, so it goes to 10. So 10 inches long and about one inch, I think. I have it a little bit over an inch wide. It can be whatever width, width you want it to be. But yeah, it's just a little bit over an inch, if you can see that. You can even make it two inches for this. If you want about that thick, you can make them thicker, but I got it like this. So yeah, this is like a little bit over an inch wide and then 10 inches long with this fabric is how, this is how I cut this. And then these pieces, I just cut bigger cause I'm gonna fold them in to fit this and be a little bit bigger than this. And then I'm gonna stitch it down. I'm gonna do this, this time I'm gonna sew it. Because I don't like, like I said, I don't 
previously i don't like to see the glue through the fabric that glue you're not supposed to see because it's supposed to be jewelry glue but you see all those spots coming through and i guess it's because i have a dark a piece of fabric on the back and then light fabric on the front so i mean i guess if i had a light piece on the back i could glue it without the glue showing through i don't know but i'm gonna hand stitch this i have a little tiny sewing machine that i bought but i have not really mastered this little thing i'm sure it's probably easy but i want to learn it all the way before i use it but it's pretty cute i got it at aldi it was 12.99 well, aldi has the coolest stuff and the best food um but yeah you just cut it on like it has a little light and everything and when you sew you just do it as normal it has a little foot paddle and i was going to use this to show you all i'll probably have to work with it and learn it a little bit it should be the same as a big sewing machine, but see, you got the little foot pattern, and it just stitches on for you. Yeah. So, I have to learn how to maneuver with this little sewing machine, and I'll start doing some tutorials with this once I get this really good. But right now, I'm going to do it by hand. But I just wanted to show you all that little sewing machine, because I think it's pretty cool. I can't wait till I the figure out how to use it. It shouldn't be hard, since I know how to use a big sewing machine. But let's get to putting this together. Now, let me get my, I got my thread. The light is on. Cut a piece of thread. My nephew over here telling me the light's on. He's prancing back and forth like he has to use the bathroom. Do you got to use the bathroom? Mm -hmm. He just gets nervous when he gets on camera. Or when I'm on camera because he's not even on the camera. Oh, look at me. Oh, there. He bugged me about that light, y'all. <laughs> I'm over making a mess. Where did my thread go? I got pieces of it. Am I sitting on it? Yes, I am. Here's a piece. I think that's good enough. So this is about this much thread I'm going to cut. You can cut it to the, the length you think it might be. Hello, Avi. Avi. You saw a choker that was tailored together with a top anyway. Okay. Oh, good night. Oh, you're leaving. Oh, I, I lost her because I was talking. Oh, I didn't mean to lose her. I didn't see that someone was in there talking back. Well, hello, one person still watching. Oh, I was, I was looking at the comments. Yeah, I talked back. I, I was kind of late responding, so they left through the chat. Oh, well, I got to finish this. I got to do this. J3, mm. uh, please. I got to have my space, please. He's getting in the way, y'all. He's all in the way. Yes, yeah, stay down that way. Give me my space. Because I got to concentrate. Ow. I have to concentrate. There's actually a choker that I saw. It was tailored together with a top. Anyway, I don't know what that means. A top. Tailored together with a top. Oh, with her shirt. Oh, made with the shirt. Okay, see, who has a t hard time getting the needle threaded? I get it threaded fast sometimes. I think I got it. I think I got it, y'all. Come on, needle. Come on. Don't give me a hard time. Oh, I hate it. I'm going to get this needle threaded. Let me cut this. Cut this. Here we go. Cut it so it can be. Won't have those frayed ends and then. Old school way to lick it so the frizz is not in your way. And then go, 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 go. Did I get it? I got it. I got it, you all. All right. Hello, second person watching. Hope y'all having a good day, good night, or whatever it is. What part of the world are y'all in that's watching? Or the country? I'm in America and Kentucky. If you can't tell by my country accent. Okay, so let's get it. I want black. I have I have the brown vinyl, and I also have the black. And since the colors in this are black, green, and pink, I'm going to use the black for the back of this one. So what I'm going to do is put the green fabric on top of the little black vinyl, or faux, faux suede, whatever this fabric is. I think it's like a suede, faux suede is what it's called. Yeah, so do it like that, and then you fold the fabric you're gonna fold the fabric to fit the size of the little vinyl piece 
because you don't want it to be bigger. So once you fold that, then you can take your needle. And I already put a knot at the end. And so from the back side, so your knot will be on this side. You don't want your knot on the other side. And start sewing from that side. And my easy way to sew stuff quicker is to take it. Because like sewing by hand is unheard of nowadays. But it's peace, it's calming to me. It calms my nerves down when I'm a nervous wreck. Which times. <laughs> but yeah, it's the quick way to do it. The quick way I do it. But if you want it to be really neat, neat, neat. Then use a sewing machine. But I do like this. I already put that one through and then I just take it. And I have a really long needle. Take it like this. And make sure you grab grabbing both fabrics as you do that. So I've done a whole bunch of stitches just by doing that. And then I finally pull it all the way through. I've done about four or five stitches. Instead of doing one stitch at a time. Wait. Wait, are you waving? I'm sewing. Yeah. He's asking me questions like he's going to sew. Maybe he is. Who knows? I don't know what he's going to do. <laughs> he said, am I weaving? I'm not. It's kind of like weaving, but it's not. It's sewing. Mm -hmm. Weave, you use yarn or, oh, or yeah. wood. Yeah. What? You, may, you weave a basket. Basket weaving. Oh. Or hair. Hair weave. <laughs> I got a wig on. It's not a weave, but hey. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep doing that till I get this all stitched up at the top. I'm showing y'all the whole shebang. I'm not just going to have, oh, I got one done. Because I do have one done, but I want to show y'all how to do it. You always win. If you don't know how to, I know people know how to hand sew. I hope people know how to hand sew nowadays. If you don't, you'll learn. Put your thread through and you tie a knot at the end. And then you just make sure the knot is on the side of the fabric that's not going to show. And then keep going. I almost got this top part of it done. I hope y'all having a good day. Talk back to me. People talk back. And I hope you subscribe. And I hope you thumbs up the video. Oh. I know y'all don't see too many live jewelry tutorials. I see a lot of jewelry tutorials, but I don't think I've seen them live. I'm trying this stuff, and it's not easy to do this stuff live, especially when you're an amateur like me. But I saw that y'all really liked that. Um, a lot of people have watched the the earring, Ankara earring one that I did. So I'm just going to show y'all how to make a necklace to go with the earring. And I'm almost done. Done, done, done. And like I said, if you want to just glue it together, you can. But I didn't like how the glue, the glue shows through. Even though it's jewelry glue and it's fabric glue, it shows kind of through it. I don't like that. But if you want to glue it, the kind of glue I have again. Did I drop it? Or oh, it's this crafters, crafters pick ultimate, the ultimate. That's the glue, fabric glue. All this stuff that I use, I get from Hobby Lobby. Every single thing comes from Hobby Lobby. And if you don't know about Hobby Lobby, they're closed on Sundays. I tell you that because I think they're a Christian-based business. And they, like I said, they have a 40% off coupon. You can always go on their website and print. So if you're getting something big like a sewing machine or furniture or big something that costs more than ten dollars even if it costs ten you can get forty percent off of it. so you get forty percent off of one item so anytime you go to Hobby Lobby make sure you have that coupon printed off or in your phone where they can scan it sign up for their mailing list and you get that coupon you can get it every day you can go with that coupon it's not just one coupon you can get one printed off every day you can only use one a day for one item but they usually have good fifty percent off sales though they usually do have some awesome 50% off sales. Okay, so I'm almost done with that. I got the top almost done. And I'm doing big stitches. 
and it really doesn't matter if you do big or small but see the big you can kind of see so you really want to do small but it really it's not that bad you can't really see with this fabric it depends on what kind of fabric you have and what kind of uh, thread you use you could just get that invisible thread and then it wouldn't matter at all how big your stitches are if it's invisible thread which I need to get some of that invisible thread it's just clear thread which I think I have some in there but I'm just doing this for the tutorial sake and then you fold it of course on the end as well fold all the fabric to fit the size of the vinyl underneath because that's the size the size you cut the vinyl is the size you want your choker to be and I'm about to run out of this piece of thread so I want to go on and make a knot so to make a knot you just go in and out a few times in and out of your fabric back and forward a few times and that'll make you a knot in the same spot make sure you stay in the same spot and just keep pulling the needle through one direction and then pull it through the other direction and that will give you a knot it will not come loose do it about six seven times which I'm th I think it's about my last time and then just cut it off so now I need to get another piece of thread but I got the top part done see the top part so that's the top and it's not bad I'm gonna get the bottom and the sides and then we're gonna put the little accessory parts on it to make it a choker accessorize and our weather here in um our weather here in mm. Kentucky in Lexington is deceiving it's so pretty outside that's why I got the window open you can kind of see see the sun shining bright and it looks so nice and sunny out there but no it's cold it's cold out there it's just sunny it's beautiful out there the sky is nice and blue sun's nice and bright but it is cold out there it's probably 30 something degrees out there if it's if it's not it's 40 it's not in no 50s one minute we get spring weather in the winter time last week it was spring weather but it was raining then a couple of days was like really warm like it was 76 degrees one day and then we get this winter weather this lexington weather's crazy but it has been warm here for a while it's been in the 50s to the 70s really 50s and 60s for the past couple of weeks we had one day that was 76 and then the next day was like 30 something degrees <laughs> like just teasing us teasing us with the weather I'm so ready for spring I hope y'all ready for spring cuz I am so ready for spring I cannot wait my favorite seasons are spring and fall no no not fall cuz it rains too much in fall and it rains a lot in spring too summer and spring summer gets a little too hot but I like the hot cuz I like sun cuz I like to get a tan yes black people do tan too <laughs> people ask that all the time. I didn't know black people do. yeah I like to get a tan you see how light I am I want to be black I'm black but I want to be black can I get a tan in the summertime I get a little melanin get a little melanin cracking get a little melanin popping melanin popping pop 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 chocolate dropping now, I'm sorry I keep annoying y'all with my singing I'm just glad it's Saturday and I'm glad to talk to my subscribers I know a lot of y'all gonna miss this cuz I don't ever announce when I'm going live I just come live randomly cuz I'm random but y'all see it later on y'all will see it later on to make sure y'all comment talk to me down there I'll talk back and I talk in the chat too I talk to the chat the people watching I just missed that one person I was too busy trying to thread this needle which is what I'm doing now there we go there we go I should have made that longer then I would have to keep re-threading what am I thinking people yeah. told you this live jewelry making stuff is no joke no joke 
All right, thumbs up the video, thumbs up the video, thumbs up the video. I'm silly. I have issues, y'all. Y'all have to forgive me. You have to forgive me, one person watching and whoever watches later on. Ow, I stuck myself. That's what I hate about sewing. Sticking yourself. I can stick myself when I'm with you. And I hate it. And I hate it. I can stick myself when I'm with you. <laughs> but I hate it. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop all this saying it. I've just got issues. Y'all got to forgive me. If you watch my channel, you know. I try to make bring a little happiness because life can be so, oh. Uh, so I do this to even make myself laugh sometimes. You got to laugh to keep living because life can be rough. Oh, yes, it can. So I took a little YouTube break. I had to take a little break. YouTube always wants to change their rules every other day. I'm almost to my 4,000 viewing hours, but 1,000 subscribers, I still got 300 and something to go. I need y'all share my videos. Get me up there to 1,000. Uh-oh, who's knocking at the door? One of your friends. Somebody's knocking. Should I let him in? Lord, it's the devil. He says he's my friend. Tell him to get that door. He's sitting there acting. I guess he's asleep. He needs to wake up. The door is knocking. Is the door <laughs> knocking on itself? This little boy. Oh, man, this little weird. boy. The door is knocking. <laughs> I hope the door ain't knocking on itself because I'm getting up out of here if the door starts knocking on itself. Because I ain't oh, playing that. Years. I ain't playing that. <laughs> it's only one person watching while well, other people are seeing it. It's funny. They might think it's funny. Kids say the darndest things. That's what you say. Kids say the darndest things. The door is knocking. Yeah, teenagers just want to sleep all day. All day. Sleep. He, he's going to finish washing some clothes. That's what he's going to do, y'all. He was trying to be in the camera. Let me move it over so y'all can see him. He might talk to y'all, entertain y'all while I'm sitting here doing the boring part of this tutorial, which is the sewing. But the but sewing is the main part. But I'm sure if you're watching the tutorial, you know how to do this sewing stuff. And if you don't, then you need stitching lessons on hand sewing. Just let me know one day. I might do that. Who was that? One of your friends? <laughs> I do. You ain't going outside. I can say <laughs> not today. You got things to do. Like homework. Yeah. He's a senior. Be graduating this year. Couple months he'll be graduating. Keep him in line. Might have to show y'all a little bit of him walking across the stage. And if he goes to his prom, he ain't even thought about prom much. So I don't know what he's going to do. I have to do some videos on that. Because you know my page is random. It's just whatever you get is what you get. It would have been so much quicker if I used a sewing machine. So I'm going to learn. I'm going to learn that little sewing machine. That way I can bring y'all more live tutorials. Or just more tutorials. They don't have to be live. I just did it live today because I just wanted to chit chat chit chat because I used to chit chat to my subscribers once at least once a week or twice a week but they done back slacked off on my little laughs because I don't get out here as much and they don't know when I'm getting on because it's not a set time hello second person watching just about almost finished with my with this choker with the sewing part which is the boring part but it's the main part oh that rhyme kind of did it part 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 I think I need a contract I think I need a contract somebody needs to sign me I don't even know what record labels are out now. Okay, I'm going to go viral. <laughs> I'm going to be a, uh, what what they say, free agent. I'm a free agent, y'all. Okay, okay. I'm getting happy because I'm getting, I'm almost done with this sewing part. Mm -hmm. He's messing with my door. So it's about to get to the fun stuff. The sewing part is the boring part. That's why it's better to do these 
in videos because then you can fast forward through this sewing part but I like to do a live tutorial so, why not I have like I said I haven't done a live in a while and I like to get on here and talk to my subscribers when they type back to me and I missed that one lady that was talking to me I kind of feel bad for little Abby I hope she subscribed and I hope everybody subscribes and thumbs up the video I have a flavor in the Vanya He's got a song with somebody. I'm going to do a reaction to that. I may put it up tomorrow, but I'm probably about to do it tonight when I get off of here. Yeah, the sewing part is about done. Yes, people, yes. Bye, see, that's what I was talking about. You see what I did? I didn't thread long enough again, so now I have to cut this thread a second time and put another piece of thread to finish and all I have to do is this part this is all I have left if I would have just made my thread a little longer I wouldn't have had this problem but that's what happens when you're trying to talk and do stuff with me short attention span ADD something something wrong now I gotta sit here and make a knot and then I also made it too short to even make a knot so now I have to actually tie a knot instead of stitching a knot like I did the last time so I'm going to have to cut this and tie a knot, which I do not recommend because thread is so difficult to thread. It ain't really too hard to tie a knot, but still, I don't recommend tying it. I'd rather stitch a knot like I showed you out earlier. But I left too little amount of thread out to stitch a knot, so I'm going to tie a couple of knots. Tie it if I can find the other piece. Lord. I might just stitch on top of it for tutorial sake. My tutorials are funny because I just always make mistakes. But I get it done. I get the product done in, in the end. My live tutorials anyway. That's yeah. why I don't like doing lives. I like it because you see how it really is. Because if people are not showing, if people show you live, you see how hard it might be. You see the problems they run into. So you don't just think everything's easy. Just imagine if some of those natural hair people showed some natural hair tutorials live. Boy, you'd see all the trouble they went through. It might be one that does that. And you see how hard it is. That stuff ain't as easy as they make it seem. Because I've tried it. Now they got people going around doing videos. They're trying to do other people's tutorials. And they're not doing too good at it. Some are. Some are doing good. I saw some where they did Jackie Anna makeup tutorial. They did pretty good, and uh, what's that other lady, Leslie something, or Ashley Hill or somebody, I don't know, they were doing different big time YouTubers, trying to redo their tutorials, now if you see me trying to do a Jackie Anna tutorial, I'll mess that all up, because if you see my makeup tutorials on here, they're amateur, I tell you, I'm just learning makeup, 42 years old, just learning makeup, hello third person watching, okay, so see, I tied that knot, so you can see the little pieces hanging, I'm going to cut that cut those pieces because you don't want nothing hanging off your neck somebody think you got a little spider on underneath your choker like girl you got some what is that hair like you got a little beard growing out your neck oh. you don't want no black thread hanging out your neck can't be having that all right now I just need a small yeah. people i'm gonna make this long so i can tie it at the end and everything one more piece of thread y'all <laughs> and then we yeah. going to the good part when you're gonna get to the good part good part Get down to the good part. When you gonna get to the good part? Come on and get to it. Y'all know nothing about that song. Showing my age. I already told y'all my age. I'm 42, be 43 this year. Yes, that's my age. Hello. Hello, Ursh Ursula. Is that, did I say that right? Ursula Atkins. Hello. How are you today? Oh, I can't see. Threading the needle is a big problem. I try to focus. My eyes act up on me. When I try to thread these needles. So I do recommend using the sewing machine. But I didn't do it today. Because I wanted to chit chat with you all. See how y'all been doing. Let y'all know how I've been doing. Been stressed out y'all. But you got to maintain oh. through the stress. Maintain through the stress. And look forward to the good things ahead. That's what I'm doing. Trying my best to look forward to the good things ahead, y'all. 
Because when the bad things are in front of you, it got to be something better behind it. And it's not really just bad things, just stress. Not really stress, just, well, I just need a vacation. And, and I just have to have a vacation at least twice a year. When I don't get vacations, I'm a very irritable person. But I'm going on a vacation in June, and I can't wait. Jamaica. I'm going to Jamaica, y'all. Jamaica, Jamaica. Jamaica, Jamaica. Y'all have to, yeah, y'all watch my tutorials or any of my videos. Y'all have to put up with my little crazy singing. Singing makes me happy even though I can't sing. It don't matter. You do what you do. Oh, no. I put that not way up there, girl. What am I doing? Look what I did, y'all. I put the, I wasted all this thread. Why? Because I'm talking. See what happens. I know. <laughs> That's funny. Oh, it didn't make a knot, oh. so I didn't mess it up. Which part? Oh, your first name? Am I saying it right? Ursula. I think it's Ursula, right? <laughs> I know Atkins is Atkins, but your first name, Ursula. That's right. I've heard that name before. Are you in Lexington? We have an Ursula in Lexington because I remember that name. I remember that name. I might know you if you're in Lexington. All right. 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 Whoa. Hey, ladies. Yeah. <laughs> you said I'm a trip. I'm having this. I got issues, girl. You got. Oh, you Russia. Oh, I can't read. You Russia or. Is it? No, it's not Ursula. It's not Ursula. I thought it was Ursula. So it's you, Ursula. Okay. Or ooh, Ursula. All right. That's cool, cool, cool. You don't want to know my real name. My real name is Hawaiian, and it's a mess. I mean, Lala's the beginning of it, but it's a whole bunch of stuff after the Lala. People are oh, so beautiful. Your name's so beautiful. I'll tell you, say it real quick, and I ain't going to say it no more. Lelania. If you didn't hear it, then you just missed it. If you didn't hear it, then you just missed it. Because I don't say that. I like Lala or Lainey much better. A lot of people just call me Lala now. They've been calling me Lala for years. Which I like that. I like Lala as a nickname. Sometimes your nickname is better than your name. Why am I live stream tripping? I hope it ain't blocked going in and out on y'all. It keeps acting like video output low. Stop it. Spectrum. Spectrum wireless. Something's wrong with Spectrum. They're going in and out on me. They need to quit that. Messing up my live stream. I just got some folks watching me. Video output low. Now come on, Spectrum. You got to do better than that. I know ain't nobody else live streaming right now. Well, you never know. It is the internet age. It is the age of the internet. Ah, oh, which part in Jamaica? I want to go to Kingston and then travel from Kingston. I want to stay in Kingston and then travel from Kingston to Montego Bay and Ochos, Rico, Ochos Rios or Ocho Rios, how you say it. But I want to stay in Kingston because I want to go to Track Records, Usain Bolt's um, restaurant. They said it got good food. Plus, I love Usain Bolt. I just love him. Tall, dark, and handsome. Not like I'm going to meet him, but it's just his restaurant, so I just have to go. And a Devon House. Devon House. I want some of this ice cream. I just keep watching people's vlogs, and everybody goes to Devon House. It's a world-famous ice cream. I got to taste this ice cream. But I got to do some some crunches and all that to get it right. If I'm going on the beach, I can't be going on the beach, y'all. Mm -mm. Not like I got flabby nothing now. I, don't got no, I ain't flabby or nothing, but you know, I got to have, I'm on a four pack. And it don't matter if you're flabby, love your body how it is. It's just for me and mine. I just want to be 42 years old with a four pack. Why not? Why can't I? Why can't I do that? And then get fat when I get uh, 80. Or get fat when I feel like it. Because I'm still single, so I can't be, yeah. 
I don't look right with weight. I had weight before, a little bit more than what I weigh now, and I wasn't that big, but my face looks funny. I don't know how people look so cute with weight. And I, I had weight. It wasn't nothing cute about it. My face looks funny. You see people with the nice little faces, the little round faces. Good for them. Cause I have to, I can't, I can't gain weight. It makes me look funny. There we go. <laughs> Done with the stitching. Done with the stitching. All right. Now, got this. We're done with the stitching. I made a knot by, let me see. Yeah, I think I showed y'all. I'm going to show y'all again how I'm going to make my knot to finish it off. Just keep going in one direction. Go the other direction. And do it about six, seven times. Till you think you got a little knot. In the same spot. You don't move your spots. You just go same spot, forward, backwards, forward, backwards. And then you get a little knot. See, we when we was kids, we had home economics which they have something like that now, but in home economics, when we was in middle school, we had to learn how to sew. We had to sew little teddy bears. We did, you could pick if you want to do a teddy bear, an Easter bunny. We did a, I did an Easter bunny. And then we had to sew sweatshirts. Uh, I did a sweatshirt with like white around the, those things are coming back in style now, but we did them in middle school. We had to sew them, had white right here, and I had pink right here, right here, then white around here. And then I think this part was pink or white. Yeah, it was, it was pink. We did that in middle school. We had to sew. We had to learn how to use sewing machines. We had to learn how to use typewriters. Now they got computers. Oh, yeah. It was, it was some stuff back in the day, J3, talking to my nephew, because they don't have to worry about that now. In the cyber age, they don't even teach them to sew in school no more. I don't know. And they used to teach us to cook. What I loved about home economics was cooking. But the first home economics class in middle school was sewing. And then, then, then when you got to um, high school, you had cooking, and you would cook food from these different countries. So here we go. I've stitched it all around, and that's the back side. And this now it's time to get to the good stuff. So now you got to use one of these little clamps, and I'm gonna use silver. I got this kit. With all these, I got this off of eBay. And it was not expensive. It was probably like $3. And you have a whole bunch of these clamps in here. Now, you probably can get them at Hobby Lobby, too. This is the one thing I didn't get at Hobby Lobby. But I did get them off eBay for like $3 for all these. I think it has 50 or 100 clamps in it. And it may have come from China or I might have ordered from the U.S. But China, it takes like a week and a half, two weeks to get to you. What? And for like... Two dollars, three dollars, not bad for all these clamps. You can make a whole bunch of chokers with these clamps. I think this is way more than what you would get if you pay that amount at Hobby Lobby, so this was a good deal. eBay has a lot of jewelry pieces. Like all this stuff that I got from Hobby Lobby, I could get on eBay, but it would come from China and take a little longer for if I, if I want it cheaper. But if I want it about the same price as Hobby Lobby, then I can just get it from US on eBay. But I just like going to Hobby Lobby. I like Hobby Lobby. It makes me feel so much at peace when I'm in that store. Okay, you take this little clamp. You see how it's open? It's open like that, and you're just going to stick it on and make sure you got it centered. And you clamp it a little bit with your hand. You close it a little bit with your hands as much as you can to get it in place. So I got it in place, and then you're gonna finish it off with the flat, the flat jewelry, the flat jewelry pliers, and just press down. So you get it in there tight. Press down all the way. <laughs> you go all the way up and down this piece like this. <laughs> and squeeze. And then see it's in place. It's not coming off. That is not coming off. It's in place. So we got that in. Now let's do the other one. Put the opening on the fabric. <laughs> and then press it with your... Oh, drop that piece. Oh, clumsy me, that. clumsy me. Well, I got a helper here. Here. All right. There we go. 
This is the fun part. The sewing part was the boring part. That's why I had to talk to entertain y'all and sing a little bit and dance a little bit. Winding, winding till you drop. Till you drop. Winding, winding till you drop. I've been watching them Jamaican uh, Trinidad and Tobago carnival videos. <laughs> it's fun. I love YouTube. I don't even watch TV. I just watch YouTube. So there we go. That's the ends. And then you see... You can see, if I can get in the camera, see that? That's where you're going to put the chain through. That little, only both ends. So now let me get my chain. Oops, I forgot. I have the gold chain. The silver chain, I can't find it somewhere. So I got to take this off, which is easy with the pliers to get this off and put the gold ones on. Darn it. Darn it. Nice. See? See the stuff that happens when you do this stuff live? You see the difficulties behind the scenes of stuff At least you. of these YouTube videos. You get the real, the, the full effect. At least I what, J3? At least you had those um, pliers. You got to have the pliers or you can't make the jewelry. Oh, yeah. Duh, J3. <laughs> three to the J. J to the three. So let me see Let's see bloopers bloopers live bloopers put the wrong color on forgetting that I don't know where my silver chain is I'm gonna find that silver chain all right so yeah the gold because we have a gold chain do it I already showed you how to put it on press it on with your hand first Ugh. get you some muscles I need some muscles I need to do some push-ups Along with some crunches. Yeah. I'll get closer so you all can see. It is a tutorial, so yeah. Yeah. See, now it's on, and this is the gold. The gold, the gold, the gold. Yeah. I'm going to put this other one on. He's over here pretending to lift weights. Why he's doing this, I don't know. Because he's about to get smacked now. <laughs> play it I'm just playing till you drop wind and wind until you drop I'm gonna have me some jerk chicken I can't wait to go to Jamaica I'm gonna have so much fun I must be at the beach just laying there just looking at the water taking pictures for y'all I'll be on my Instagram my Instagram's the same as my my YouTube a lot I'll be so random I put post pictures on there. I just started that Instagram stuff a couple months ago to try to hype up my YouTube. But there we go. Okay. Okay, people. Okay. So now we're going to get it started. Got these little rivets. I guess that's what you call these things. I don't know the name of this stuff. That's a shame, man. I need to look at the packages and remember. They got put these little round things. So what I'm going to do is take and open this. See, it has a little opening there can you see it can you yeah there you go but I gotta open it wider so you, I, t I usually use two of these to open them I'll take both pliers to open it wider oh she said my trip <laughs> I thought she said I was a trip see I ain't paying attention right you can't concentrate. Okay. Now, my trip. And then in August, I'm going to Africa, to Kenya, Nairobi. Yeah. I got some vacations coming for y'all this year, some vacation videos. But if you ain't checked out my other vacation videos, look on my page. I got Belgium twice. And I got Paris, France. I got Australia. Went to Brisbane, Australia. Got New York. New York, New York. New York. I got those videos on my page. I, did, I have a video from Orlando when we went a couple years ago. We went to Universal Studios, Disney World. We went to every single thing. Orlando Magic Basketball Game. But I haven't put that video up yet. I mean, it's two years old. Maybe one day I'll put it up. I don't know if I want to even put it up. It's Because that was before I was even doing YouTube. But if you y'all would like to see that Orlando video and the pictures and stuff from when we went to Orlando, I'll just let me know in the comments. And I'll get it on up. This one doesn't want to go on here. So that means I have to go with the smaller size. This one should fit though. 
I'm trying to get this through the little hole on there and it should fit. It's just giving me a tough time. It's going. I probably need to use these pliers to open it up a little bit more. Let me see. Or I'm going to have to use the smaller rivet. Or whatever you call these little things. Come on. Yeah, I'm going to use the smaller one because that's just taking too much time. I got smaller ones, so use the ones this size to get them through there easier. Don't be jealous. You can go to Jamaica too. Everybody can go. You just got to save up. That's what I got to do. Save up. I ain't even bought my plane ticket yet. I'm going to stay in the Airbnb. I love Airbnbs. Airbnbs are nice and it's cheap when you got the whole little apartment to yourself. And somebody who can tell you what where to go, how to get there, because the person's usually not far. The person whose place you stay in, they prop they 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 usually close or live close to their Airbnb if they don't live like right next door or in the same building but downstairs or something. They can tell you how to get around and stuff. So that's it's great to get an Airbnb. Much better than hotels and a lot cheaper than hotels. I love Airbnbs. I just started getting Airbnbs twenty fifteen when I went to Belgium the first time. And every time I go to Europe, I've been to Europe twice. Well, I've been to Belgium twice. And Europe twice because Belgium's in Europe. But I went to France the first time I went. That's when I went to Paris because I always wanted to go to Paris. You see the Eiffel Tower back there and the pictures of Paris City on my wall. And don't you know that I ended up liking Belgium more than I liked Paris? And what's the odds of that? Somebody who always wanted to go to Paris, France, and gets to go, and you ready to go back to Belgium because we drove from Belgium to Paris. It's four hour drive from Laige, Belgium to Paris, France. And it was a nice drive. It was a beautiful drive. Nice, beautiful countryside. I like I did like I didn't drive, so I didn't care. <laughs> Cause I hate driving. But it was a nice ride. And I mean I liked seeing the tourists, the vacation spots, but really Paris was kinda not, I didn't it wasn't what I expected. And I guess I don't know. I just wasn't the weather wasn't beautiful neither when I went, because I went in October 2015 so if the weather would have been nicer then I may have enjoyed it better but it was kind of chilly but the videos are on here from Paris so y'all should go check them out it's in my playlist for travel check those uh, Paris videos still trying to get this on see you, you, make sure you're not talking when you're trying to concentrate <laughs> when you're trying to concentrate on making this jewelry but I'm almost done y'all I'm almost done I'm just, just trying to get this thing closed. It's easy to open it, but getting it closed so it doesn't come apart. It's not. Okay, so I got that one on. So now, how you get the chain pieces to come apart. I think I'm going to do about this much chain. Because I'm going to break that in half. So let's measure see how much chain that is. Get my handy dandy measuring tape. Uh, about eight inches. It's about eighty-eight inches. If y'all can see that with my terrible camera, I don't know. But yeah, I'm not going to ten. I'm going to I'm going to cut it off right there at eight. Yeah, I'm gonna cut it off down there at, at eight. Cause that's all you need. You probably don't even need that much. But to make you do that to be on the safe side because you don't know whose neck it has to fit if you're making it for someone else. And nothing's wrong with having a little bit of chain dangling because most necklaces do. Okay, come open. Come open. And see, I just got it open. Just pull it open the same way you pulled the little rivets open. And now I have my little piece. And now I need to take this piece and tear it in half. I'm going to put it in half so do it like that and then make sure you got it like even kind of even and then you're going to take it apart again. So take your little two little things and then take that apart and now you have your two pieces. And then you gotta open it up. 
when you have this piece that you put on here mm -hmm. and I think you can just put that on here directly without even adding this but I'm just a I just I'm just extra <laughs> y'all y'all just I'm just extra I'm so extra okay. extraordinary no nah. <laughs> did y'all see Black Panther that was a good movie now I went to see it the first weekend it came out that Sunday I got a vlog about my cosplay costumes on here too for Black Panther I tried out different costumes and gave costume ideas but that movie was awesome I didn't think that movie was gonna be that good it shocked me because I'm not a movie going person and I don't go to the movies too often but I was just in awe that movie was freaking awesome I can't wait for part two because I know there's gonna be a part two three four however many parts they won't make till we get tired of it but it was awesome I give thumbs up to all the, the cast members, black, white, whatever color. They all did an awesome job. That movie was just, I thought I was in the movie. Wakanda forever. Cool. Wakanda forever. Cool. What? Black Panther? Because oh. I thought I was in the movie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he didn't see it. He didn't see Black Panther. Me and my son went to see it. J3 didn't see it, but that was an awesome movie. That movie, that movie was action packed, and it was so like I don't know, like the 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 science, sci the sci-fi, the visual effects. The oh man, that was awesome. I wanted to move to Wakanda. I wanted to move there. I wanted it to be a real place, and it was in Nigeria, make believe. <laughs> it was like you had to go through Nigeria to get to Wakanda. Y'all know I be faking like I'm Nigerian. Sometimes I'm Nigerian now I be thinking I'm Jamaican. I don't know what I am. <laughs> My nephew's half Jamaican. Jamaican me crazy. That's stupid. <laughs> oh, you seen it twice? You seen it twice? I want to see it again. But I was like, okay, am I really going to go see it again? Did you see it twice the same week or you went two different weeks? I mean, it's such a good movie. It's worth seeing twice because you might. It's like you make. It makes you feel like you might miss something. Might have missed something. See, on this end, I didn't put that thing. I just used this and opened it, so you don't have to use the little rivets. You can just put the chain directly on the hoop hook. Cause I didn't put it on this side. One side I did. One side I didn't. And it's fine. It's a a okay. It worked just fine without the rivet. So you can do it how you choose to do it. Don't necessarily need a rivets. All you really need is the chain. That's all you need. Wakanda forever. I kept saying that one part of the movie where it says, The Black Panther has been the protector of Wakanda for, many, for generations. That's my favorite part. <laughs> I was wishing that he was really African. Because I love that accent, and he's really just American. But if I talk to him, he needs to talk in that African accent that he talked in. Oh, man, I loved his voice in that movie. His voice was awesome. He played African very, very well. I just knew he was African. Then I looked him up after the movie, because I haven't seen James Brown. I, I've never seen Chadwick Bosman. So I didn't see James Brown. I heard James Brown was a good movie, but I never saw it, so... Looked him up. I was like, oh, he's American. And he's 41 years old. Hey, you up there with me? I'm 42. What's going on, Chadwick Bosman? But he was fired in that movie. Oh, Chadwick Bosman looking good. I said, well, he is got it going on. He needs to be African then because I like that accent. I love that accent. Yeah, see, here's the silver chain. I didn't realize I had some of that over So I could have kept the silver on because I had a piece of it. That was enough to make this this choker. Oh well, you see what you find out later on when you look back and see stuff sitting. You can I'm run. talking more than I'm working. Okay, now let me just get these claps on here, people. I gotta stop all this talking. So now I'm gonna use the big one that I opened that wouldn't fit the big rivet and put that on this end. You can probably you can probably use it um for the next one you make. No, I'm using it on this one. I need it. I need it. It's my body and I need it now. Oh, see, just clumsy. <laughs> see? Oh, well, I'll get that. 
You don't even know where it went. There it is. <laughs> he said, luckily, I got a helper here that can catch stuff when I drop it. Thank you. You like my? I'm glad you like my choker. I, I can't wait to put it on and be done so y'all can see the end of the tutorial. I wouldn't. If I could stop talking because I talk too much. That's part of my problem. That's why I became a YouTuber so I could talk to people. Talk to y'all. Get to all this talking out my system. Then the rest of the day I don't have to talk because I can get all the talking out my system. <laughs> Close it, close it, close it. All right, so I got that. You see, make sure you got it closed. Good. All right. Now the end piece. These little pieces here. That's that's what you need. I just need one of those. One of those. J3, stop making all that noise. Cut your little thing off in the background. I told you, you cannot have that sound on until I'm done with this live. Why is he not listening, people? <laughs> I put it on a little high. No, it cannot be playing in the background. I'm almost finished. So you need to be patient or go in another room. I don't know why he likes to be in here when I'm doing my lives and then he pop on the camera here and there, but he don't really get on the camera too much. He likes to say hi to y'all and bye to y'all. Except he was on the little video where we were acting silly and doing karaoke. So I got this piece on... And all I'm doing is a bunch of opening the, cl the clamp, open them and closing them. I don't have to use both clamps to close the small, thin ones, but the bigger ones you got to use both clamps. And for the chain, you need to use both clamps to get it open and closed because it's thicker metal. So if you don't use both clamps, it'll be pre pretty hard for you. So now I got this end piece on here. If you could, uh, I wish it would just stay still, stay still see it and see that other piece I'm gonna put into that rivet I have to put a small rivet on the big rivet 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 no I don't I'm not gonna use this see it comes with this and I guess that's if you have a thin chain or whatever I'm taking that little part off and then I can just clamp it directly to the big rivet that I put or probably through the chain because I needed the size of my neck. So my choker is complete after 58 minutes because <laughs> I've been talking and taking breaks and everything and I hand stitched it. You can glue it. Like I said, if you glue it, it will look like this one because I just use glue. But see, I didn't want to glue it because see those spots. But this is the faster way to do it is glue it or use a sewing machine. But today I wanted to just do it by hand. But yeah, to glue it. I mean, if it, if it doesn't really bother you that it has these spots. Or if, use a lighter fabric on this side if you use a light fabric on top of it. That way, because I use the dark fabric, then you can kind of see through the glue. Because it's fabric glue. That glue is fabric glue, so it's supposed to be clear. So it's clear, but you can kind of see it. Crafters pick the oh, ultimate whoa. fabric glue oh. from Hobby Lobby. Oh. All right, now let's put my choker on and see you can wear it this way it's like a reversible choker you want to have a plain choker one day wear it this way and you want to have your Ankara choker wear it this way now let me go on and clamp it on huh that's what it's called because it's tight around your neck so it's kind of choking you so it's a choker that's what they call them Uh-oh, I messed it up. Let me get it tighter. Let me get it tighter for y'all. I bent my neck down and folded it out, wrinkled it all up. This shirt is constricting or restricting me. I made up a word. I don't even think constricting is a word. All right. Now, this will fit anybody's neck because this is very big. There we go. Yeah. There we go. And I have my choker complete. And it's done, 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 done. 
And that's how you make it. And I hope y'all like it. My Ankara choker. Choker, choker, choker. And I'll show you the earrings that I had on uh, the other day. Go down there and get those green and pink earrings. I'll put them on with it so they can see. They might be over here. Mm -hmm. On this stool. No, they're not. They're right there. Are they in that, my jewelry thing? Fabric. No, they're probably down there with my other fabric earrings. I'll get it. In there. That gray thing. Come oh. on now. Right there. Oh. Oh, kids nowadays. That's one. Get the other one. Get the other one. Get the other one. So I can show y'all the earrings. You love it. Thank you. Thank you. You Rushla. Here's. I won't say Ursula. <laughs> That's what it seems like it is to me. No, those are new. Those I'm selling. These are mine. Okay. All right. And see, these are the earrings that I made. And one of my other, that, that live tutorial, I think these were one of the pairs I made. It's on here from months ago, but yeah. This was what made me, that video is what made me go on and do this one because so many people watch are watching that one now. It's like it took a long time to catch on, but people are watching that video now. It has thousands of views. And this is like the perfect colors for the spring and the summer. I'm ready for the brightness. I'm ready for the bright days. Let's see. Let me see my bra strap showing. <laughs> Got my bra strap showing. But this is the, the choker and the earrings. So, yeah. That's the tutorial, but I got something else to show you all since we're chit chatting and everything. I got all this stuff. This hat that I got, and I'm going to wear this. And this, see, I figured it goes great with this, even though it's a different Ankara fabric. But look at this hat. This is going to be like my beach hat for Jamaica. I got it today from the African store, one of the African stores. We have like two African stores. One does hair, but they also sell clothes and stuff. The other one sells food, clothes, whatever. Oh. Near. But look, oh, what I look cute with my, oh, look at it, y'all. Look at it on the beach with my earrings and my choker. That, that, this goes perfect. You can't even tell that it's too different. I mean, you can if you get close, but see, you can't because this one has the lines too. And the hat has the lines in the pink. So this Ankara fabric right here goes good with this Ankara hat, but isn't it this hat cute? I love this hat. Maybe you should actually, um. So, uh, yeah, yes, this hat was 25 bucks at the little store. What? Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it was 25 bucks. And they had another one that I'm going to get in another color. But, I'm, yeah, I don't know what kind of swimsuit I'm going to buy. But this is where, yeah, I'm going to be on the beach in Jamaica can, with the little hat. Little, you can little actually hat. Wear. I'm having my hair, real hair braided because, you know, I'm natural underneath here, underneath this wig. So, yeah, I just wanted to show y'all that hat. And, and also, get, get that dress right there, that black dress in that box. Right there. It's right there. In the box. Oh. Gosh, kids can't find anything, people. <laughs> I'm glad you like the hat. I, and she added in like a, another color, the same kind of pattern. I'm going to get both. I can't wait. And I, get, I bought this uh, this dress on Poshmark probably for like 12 bucks, 20 It was less than 20 bucks. My uh, god niece is going to the prom. So That's I bought her this black dress and then it has this little detail and it's a very long dress but her mom wanted it to be popped up or not she didn't just want this dress she told her you're unique you're unique you need to be different you're original be yourself get her to stitch something on it so I'm going to put this fabric that I got at the other African store Jehovah Jireh Mama African Market my friend store my friend of Fua store Fua Mensa her, her store and this is beautiful. Look at this fabric. It costs a hundred bucks because it's six yards of it. So I'm gonna have to make some skirts and sell them. <laughs> After I make my, I'm gonna make me a skirt to wear too. But I'm gonna put this fabric. It's black and blue and gold. It has these little bead DT. It has a little bead detail. And then the end. This will be the end. The bottom part of the dress. So I'm gonna put this. I'm gonna sew this to the dress to make her to step her prom dress up a notch. So it'll be like that. See that? Uh, ain't that cute? Isn't that cute? But that's how it's going to be. I'll show you all the fin finished product when I do get this done. Her prom is coming up soon. Her senior prom. So 
I don't know, I'll make sure I get a picture of her in the dress when it's done. But yeah, so that's another thing, another project that I have going on. But I got to make more jewelry so I can sell it at the store, at the, at the little Jehovah Jireh African market. But I'm going to get to it. So I'm glad that, thank you for watching me. I hope you subscribe, share my videos on my Twitter, on my Instagram. Yeah. Oh, you saw it in IMAX screen and 3D. Ooh, I bet that was nice. It was so hard to get seats that Sunday. Like me and my son had to sit. I had to sit at one end of the row. He had to sit all the way at the other end. It was it was hard to get seats that first weekend. <laughs> Y'all, you're welcome. And just rewind it back if you missed some parts, because I know I was talking, talking, chatty, 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 because that's what I like to do when I haven't talked to my subscribers in a while. Like and they reply to me in the comments if they're not in the live. So, because I respond to the comments, because. I'm not no huge YouTuber, and I hope that if I ever do become a big YouTuber and do this full time, which would be a blessing to be a YouTuber full time and not have to work. Hallelujah. <laughs> anyway, that I could still have time to respond to whoever uh, comments or at least like your comment, but I like responding and at least with a thank you or with a whatever. I like to try to respond because I'm just a normal person just like y'all. Even if I get up to a million subscribers, I'm still a normal person just like y'all. We all just normal people. So I'm going to stay humble no matter how big it gets. I'm small beginnings. But good big things start with small humble beginnings. But yeah. I'll do another tutorial. If y'all ask me in the comments what if it's any other type of tutorials. And I do regular jewelry as well. Like I made these. Yeah, I do regular jewelry as well. I'm learning this jewelry stuff. Just doing it on my own. And I do regular, like I said, regular stuff as well. But... I thank y'all for watching and I hope y'all have a blessed rest of the day and comment down below subscribe to my channel and be blessed and be a blessing team random and I enjoy chatting with y'all with you today and whoever else is in here and you didn't talk but I enjoy chatting with you as well and I will see y'all next time bye team random <laughs> see told you he just likes saying bye <laughs> bye team random <laughs>